Hey guys, it's me Ryan and welcome back to my YouTube channel and um, today I don't really have like a video planned that is a tutorial or anything um, I've just got a lot of things to do to my um, sewing area so I thought I would just film it and uh, get this up for you guys because yeah today's just kind of more of a chill day um, and I just got like a few bits to do in um, my room basically just tidying up and sorting everything out I've got fabric I need to fold and sort and yeah um, it's all kind of a bit of a mess right now you guys can probably see that behind me um, yeah that I need to sort out so yeah today I'm just gonna be tidying up cleaning my sewing area because I do like to have it clean um, before I start a new project it's just the way I like to work because then everything's organized and yeah it's just the way I like it and as you can see I'm wearing the t-shirt I wore I wore the t-shirt I made in my last video which you guys are really really liking so far so thank you guys so much for all the support on that and also if you're new here from the sewing group um, sewing in the UK and Facebook thank you for all the support on the post on that it's doing really really well and it makes me so happy and it really does inspire me to keep sewing and keep doing what I like to do so yeah um, I think I'm just going to set up the camera and I will tell you guys what I'm doing, time lapse some of it and um, yeah let's just sort out this absolute car crash of a mess because it is really really messy, well for me at least. Um, some of you guys might have messier sewing rooms which is completely fine um, and some of you might think this is really tidy, to me this is messy and I want to sort it out. So yeah let's um, tidy it and let's just get home with the video. The current um way my space is lock in so this is what my space is currently looking like um as you can see as you guys can see there is my sewing machine and it's just kind of messy um which i don't like and my overlocker and this is at like, the messiest part because i just have patterns just out everywhere um, whether they're commercial patterns or the traced patterns. And underneath I have just some fabric and off cuts and that I need to sort. So yeah, this is another, I need to buy like a wider lens. But this is another overview. It's kind of just, just untidy and messy and dusty. I haven't cleaned the tables in a while. So I'm just going to first start by um, moving off, getting my sewing machines off the table and like moving them over here. And then I will start just by cleaning the desk and everything. So I'm first going to start by just removing, taking my machines and plugging them and putting them over here so I can get at the desks without anything in the way. Um, I will dust them and then I will go over them with wet wipes just to clean them up. I tend to like pile everything on my desks. This is like a ceramic tray I use to just stash little things in like spare feet. So now um, I've removed this machine, I'm just going to clean this side because it is much easier so I'm just gonna dust and then I will clean it with wet wipes so that is one side all dusted and cleaned and I'm just gonna leave that air dry for a minute oh it's dry already so once I've done that I will then put my machine back and I like it more over to the right I do this guys probably every two weeks I'd say, um, depending on how much I make. Um, but also I do dust my room like every day anyway because I just keep it clean. Um, but yeah, I do like a full clean like this about every two weeks. Um, so now that's done, I'll just plug in my machine. And that is this one side done. And I'll just put everything back. Um, I bought this cute little bobbin case can you guys see that this cute little bobbin case holder from um uh hobbycraft i think it was like three or four pounds which was really cheap and it's also very useful so and now i'm just basically going to repeat the same thing this side that's better so i just need to unplug my overlocker like that and then with my overlocker this just behind these um like where the threads come through off the telescopic thread stand there's like a handle and you just make room and i just pick it up and simply move it like that 
It's quite heavy, but it's not too heavy. These are the, um, what are they called? Non-slip mats, but they do not work in my opinion. So maybe it's just the ones I bought, but they don't work. So I'm taking that away because it's annoying. And yeah, let's just start cleaning this side. I don't know, these little pots here I use to stash um, spare pins in, spare paper clips, and also spare um, like clips that are like this. Like that type of clip, like buck, I think they're called buck clips. Um, which I find really useful for when doing hems and stuff because they're big and will hold a lot of area at once. So I really recommend them. I actually place some wa um, wadden or wadden, whatever it's called. I think it's, I think quilters use it in between fabric to quilt. I actually place a folded piece of that underneath my overlocker because this is actually the stuff that reduces the noise and vibration, not the non-slip mats. So that's why I like to use it. And I will put then my overlocker back on top and that is exactly how I like to set it up if you guys want to follow I want I am going to be filming over the next uh, three weeks um, well three weeks the next couple of weeks um, a full video on how to use an overlock for beginners so if you guys want to see that give this video a thumbs up because I really do want to film that so what I'm going to do here is basically just tidy up my patterns because I got pattern pieces everywhere and um, either trace patterns that are still out or just like actual patterns that you buy. And yeah, I just need to tidy it. I believe these are all from the same pattern because I think they're all from this Quixo pattern. This is the Quixo K4088. Again, this is the pattern I used in my last video and for this t-shirt. Um, I used the V-neck shirt, but I just rounded it off um, because that's when I had short sleeves. But like I said, you can use the round neck or crew neck um, pattern with, short, with long sleeves, but just cut out the short sleeves instead of the long, which I didn't think of. But, you know, that's what I'll do next. Or oh, I'll just actually I one because this pattern works fine the way I traced it. Um, and that's the beauty of tracing patterns. You can hack and change them as you go. See these black drawers in the bottom one here? I try and stash some patterns and in the top here I have a lot of sewing tools so I got um, three different sizes of elastic in there I got some thread I've got um, three different sizes of double-sided sticky tape I've got some snips I got a mending needle for finishing overlocker um, threads which never bloody works um, but yeah that's just random stuff in there but these are not gonna fit in that pattern box I need a a different way of storing patterns so if you guys have any ideas i was thinking of some sort of file system but um i'm not sure yet so if you guys have any ideas please let me know below because these pattern sheets are not like, in the actual word things are not working so yeah i do need to find a different way of storing my patterns because this is not working whatsoever by the way guys i am going to be reviewing this book which that was in a haul um, a few videos back, again, it's the Gentleman's Wardrobe, um, vintage style project for the modern man. There are a few things in there I want to make, like the shirt and also the waistcoat. So they will be, I'm actually going to try and find fabric and buttons for the waistcoat next week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to write that down before I forget. My goal in Cardiff next week is to try and find some waistcoat fabric, um, f maybe some hoodie fabric. Also want some fabric for like a um, coat. But it's not like a coat, it's kind of, it is a coat, but it's, it looks like a lab coat style coat, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, I want it to be very thin, lightweight, um, and it kind of looks like a lab coat, like those type of coats. It's not like one with a big hood, it's got a collar on it, um, if that makes sense. Um, it kind of looks like a shirt actually, but I don't think it has any buttons. Um, I hope you guys kind of know what I'm talking about, but it's like an overcoat looking thing. Um, so fabric for that, and some jersey I think I wanted as well 
um, because I really like making t-shirts. Um, so yeah, um, fabric for two or three, maybe four projects next week, depending on my budget. Just a reminder, I have this fabric, which again was in another video a few, um, was in a haul a few videos back. It's a really, really beautiful checkered Ponte Roma, and it's kind of, it's really thick. Not really thick, but it is really good quality. And I really do not know what to make out of this. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know below um, because I really want to use this. I think I got, I believe I got three meters of this and it is 58 inches wide. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions what I can make out of this, let me know. Someone said a bomber jacket, which I would, but it's very thin in my opinion for a bomber and I'm not sure how I feel about bomber, a bomber jacket made in a knitted fabric. Um, so I have that. I also have this, um, lovely i think this is also ponte roma um i bought from that was from pound fabrics this is also from pound fabrics i think of three or four meters of this it's really good quality again and i think i was going to make a shirt for mum out of this because this is kind of like a pattern a style um i don't know what i could make out of this i definitely wouldn't make a t-shirt out of this because it is thick but now feeling it it does kind of seem a bit thinner than the jersey i got on I'm not sure, maybe I will make a t-shirt of this as well. But I'm definitely gonna make um, something for mum out of this, a, like a nice blouse or whatever, and maybe a t-shirt out there for me. So I'm gonna try and find patterns for them as well next week. Well, I have a t-shirt pattern, but I need to find a pattern for mum. Again, then I also have this white striped polyester, which I really like, and I just do not know what to do with. I was going to attempt trousers. Um, I actually could make trousers out of this. This is, ooh, trousers. This seems really nice for trousers. It is a bit drapey, but that could work because I could interface the waist. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try trousers out of that. And there's also a trouser pattern in here. So maybe they will go together. I'm gonna to think that through and let you guys know. Um, I'll let you know on Instagram, so um, follow me on there. Um, and then I also have, again, this denim um, fabric, which I still haven't used. My plan was to make shorts out of it, but now summer's coming to an end. Here in the UK, I have no idea what to make. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. The reason why I wanna kind of make all this up in the next few months is because I do not like having fabric lying around. One, because I don't have the room, and two, I just feel like it's a waste of money if it's just lying around all the time. And my mix always change, like what I wanna make always changes. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. But I definitely am thinking trousers for that because I have actually wanted a pair of black and white striped trousers for a very long time. So that is maybe a plan. And then this really drapey, I mean, this is, extremely drapey. I think it's just polyester and it's not very nice to be honest. I w um, after this I am planning to make my niece some, um, she wanted what are they called, like a jumpsuit because she really likes this. So that is what I'm going to make out of that. But I'm dreading working with this because it's very slippy and like see it just slips everywhere. It's a very, very drapey fabric, which I did not realize when I ordered. But, and I, literally, I cannot, I can't fold it. I cannot fold this fabric to save my life. So it's just literally piled there. And yeah, so that is those. But yeah, definitely gonna be having loads of videos coming out soon on makes. Um, but let me just finish tidying here. And I'm gonna get rid of these non-slip mats because they are useless, they can go in the bin. They do not work. Okay, so this is a really weird angle, but that has basically been it for this video. I know it's been really quick, and quick is probably a long video, but it's probably been like a kind of a boring video, kind of a chatty video. Please let me know below um, ideas for those fabrics I asked about earlier, especially the checkered Ponte Roma, because I have no idea what to make out of that. Um, like I said, now I do, looking at this box and also looking at the fabrics, now I do kind of have some mix in mind I want to get for them. I want to use for them so please let me know what you guys think down below and again let me know below what you guys think I could use that Ponte Roma for because it is a really lovely fabric and I do not want it it won't go to waste but I don't I don't want it sitting around for another three months 
so please let me know below and um, again next week I'm going fabric shopping in Cardiff so I will try and vlog some of that I'll actually try and vlog it all for you guys so that will be up um, I do have videos coming on how to do neckbands and also inserting sleeves um, properly for beginners and the easiest way so for you guys that struggle with that because I know a lot of you do um, please bear with me they are coming out in the next few weeks so stick around for them also follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes of videos and for makes that you guys may not see on YouTube or to see them in real time because of course YouTube is in real time and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and support my channel I did hit 100 subscribers overnight which is absolutely fantastic again thank you guys for all your support and I'll see you in my next video bye guys